All right, fantabulous. Good, good morning. I am Costa Constantinidis, chair of the uh, Environmental Protection Committee, and today the committee will hold, a, he, hold and hear a vote on intro 1651A, a local law to amend the administrative code of the city of New York in relation to monitoring, monitoring electricity and fossil fuel usage in certain facilities. In July 2014, City Controller Scott Spring Stringer audited the Department of Citywide Administrative Services DCAST energy conservation efforts. He found that benchmarking in city buildings were incomplete. He found that not enough was being done to ensure that the department's efficiency goals and measures were being implemented. And he found there was no official procedure for prioritizing buildings for energy efficiency projects. Subsequent investigations also include that DCAST had very little information on heat loss and fossil fuel use particularly oil in cities' buildings. This local law will require DCAS to provide an annual report on electricity and fossil fuel, fossil fuel use in certain city-owned buildings, including identifying whether such buildings have been fitted with equipment for monitoring, monitoring energy usage in near real time. The report will also require assessments and improvements to building envelopes. This bill will also require DCAS in conjunction with appropriate city agencies to coordinate the installation of energy usage equipment and any necessary software in all city buildings that DCAS identifies as appropriate to receive such installation. Uh, we are joined here this morning by uh, Council Members Lanceman and Richards, members of the committee. Uh, and at this time, I recommend a yes vote. If the clerk can please close the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on environmental protection. Introduction 1651A, Chair Constantinides. I vote aye. Richards. Congratulations uh, on the work that you continue to do and this committee continues to do, Samara and uh, Chair Casa. Uh, I vote aye. Lanceman. Aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. I want to thank our uh, legislative attorney, Samara Swanston, for her great work, Nadia Johnson, our policy analyst. Uh, Jonathan Selfer, Selser, our financial policy, poly, ah, policy analyst. Of course, my legislative counsel, Nick Wazowski, as well. Uh, if the clerk can please leave the row open uh, for other members. And with that, I'll gavel this committee hearing closed.